Hey YouTube, I know it's been a minute, but I'm officially back here to share with you my crazy natural horror hair story. Uh, hoping to spread awareness and I hope it's informative for you guys and just to let you know what's going on if you have natural hair, certain precautions to take. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy it. So let me tell you guys a little bit about my natural hair journey. I was technically am, or was, natural for about five years. I had gotten a perm at the age of 11 um, and realized later in life that I liked the texture of my actual hair and I decided to do away with perms because I hated them. I loved my natural hair the way it was. I would wear it curly, it was very versatile. I'd wear it curly, I'd wear it straight. So when it was in its curly state, I would pretty much take care of it on my own. I didn't have an actual stylist. I went to one lady that would color my hair. She was a naturalist and she, give me different feedback but for the most part when my hair was natural I would take care of it on my own however when I wanted it straightened I would go to a local Dominican hair salon that I've been going to for seven years and I loved it there I never had a problem my hair would always be on point when I would leave and it was just great so in October I went to get my regular wash and set the woman that usually shampoos my hair she just kept making comments about my natural hair saying wow it's very thick it's very thick kept saying this over and over again and I didn't think anything of it so um, I just let her wash me um, I usually bring my own products but for some reason they still like to use their products um, and that was my issue I never really spoke up on it even when you bring your own products they like to mix and do certain things I never understood it so I get my wash and set everything is fine it was Halloween weekend I had went on a broke cruise it was raining that day and I noticed that my hair wasn't frizzing as it usually was but I was like maybe it's just me about a week goes by I'm noticing my hair is starting to shed which never happened when it was natural it would shed when I would co-wash or comb through it which is okay which is a natural process but when it was straight it never really shed so I let about a week go by like I said I decided to wash my hair because I want my curls back in turn while I'm washing my hair I start smelling the strong smell of like lye and I'm like this is strange like the whole bathroom smells like perm like where did perm come from so while I'm washing it I come out of the shower and I notice my curl pattern is completely gone I have no texture whatsoever I did what any millennial would and I took to the internet I went online and I found a few articles basically describing how women go or natural women go to get washing sets and chemicals are being snuck into their conditioner and when I saw that my heart dropped because I realized I was like I'm never gonna get my curl back it's gonna take time started right back to square one so I had to take a trip to the hairdresser the next day and pretty much tell them what was going on and ask them what they could have possibly put in my conditioner that could have spark this change so i went straight there i went to the owner i was very respectful about it um i asked her one-on-one -on -one. i was like i think something was put in my conditioner like what do you think is going on so pretty much she denied the whole thing i also went to the woman that shampooed my hair asking her and she denied the whole thing um so i was completely screwed i didn't know what to do um the fact that they did that was horrible but then again i wanted to know what i could do to fix it because my hair was now shedding right now i'm on the track to getting it back natural i'm putting no more chemicals in it i'm using completely natural products um i actually went to a naturalist and she pretty much told me that all of the damage was done on the surface of the hair and it didn't touch my roots so it can easily be grown out but there's some women there that aren't as lucky as i am i mean i lost a significant amount of hair but it doesn't really show that much i lost it in the back and pretty much i just wanted to let you know these things are going on and if you're natural there's some ways to prevent it um first off you have to speak up which was one of my issues um, when I saw them mixing products, I should have told them to stop or asked what they were putting in my hair or why it was so important that their products had to go in my hair, um, which was a mistake that I made. Um, also, 
uh, if they're making comments about the texture of your hair, it's time to walk away. Or if they say you need a perm, it's time to walk away. And also another great alternative, if you're natural and you want to go straight, you could go to different dry bars. A dry bar is basically a place where they just blow your hair out. There's no cuts, no colors, no chemicals or anything. It's not there. Granted, it's a bit more pricey, but you, the, the health of your hair is guaranteed. After everything was all said and done, I felt completely violated. Like, that was just extremely disrespectful. Like, why is my natural hair a problem to you? Or why is it not okay? Like, my hair is ruined. So, naturals, I hope this video was helpful. Um, just pretty much letting you know all the dangers that are out there for natural hair. Um, and don't just be so quick to run up and get your hair straightened by anybody because this is the new wave and some people may not be so lucky or you may have an allergic reaction to the chemicals they put in your hair and it might be 10 times worse. So just do your research and be safe out there. Bye!